Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial for FreeCAD I will show you how to create a custom SVG symbol like this elevation height mark which you could use in your TechDraw workbench pages or sheets. The important thing about this symbol is that uh, I will move this one here I can change the text, the text is editable so instead of 0, 0, I could point to point 0.22. So I'll teach you how to create a symbol like this one. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 in this tutorial. To create a symbol like this that we can use in FreeCAD, we have to create an SVG vector file with this geometry. And for that, I will be using Inkscape, which is vector graphics editor software. It's free open source software, so you can download it and use it as you wish. I'm using version 1.1.4. So in FreeCAD, I opened a new document and I will start here. I will start with creating the text. But before I create the text, I will set up my uh, uh, properties. So I will go to File and Document Properties. And uh, I will, the format, it doesn't matter which format you use, but uh, switch display units to millimeters. Maybe you have pixels. I will use millimeters so I can set up the height of the, height of the text properly. So now I will start the text tool, which is here. And here I, will, I can set up my text. So I can select the font that I want. So I will leave sans serif. And I will actually change the font size. This is why I switched this to millimeters. And I will change the font size, let's say, to 6 millimeters. And now I will click somewhere in the space, it doesn't matter where. And I will write plus uh, 200.000. So I will have six, uh, six numbers. And now I hit escape and the text is created. If I want to uh, exit out of the text tool, I will hit this arrow button. So now with control and rotating the wheel mouse, I will zoom in a little bit on the text so I see it a bit better. And I have written uh, the longest text that I expect to be in my symbol. So it's three digits here and three digits behind the, behind the, uh, behind the decimal, decimal mark. Now first what I will do is change, you can see that the text is outlined and uh, the color inside is basically transparent. So I will go to, in my, in my properties, I will go to the fill and stroke properties. If you don't have them here, you can actually go to object and fill and stroke. And if you click this one, you should have this tab available, fill and stroke. And here, uh, if I select an object, I can change the fill and the stroke. Uh, so what I will do is the fill is set to no paint. So I will set it to flat color and it's, it defaults to black color, which is okay. And the stroke, I will actually not want to have the stroke there. So I will cancel this. So there's no stroke. There's only the fill, so the text is not too thick. So this is the setup of the, of the text. And now I will do the ge geometry, the two lines and the, and the arrow. So I will click away from the text and I will use the pencil tool for this. And I will start the pencil tool and I will click somewhere here as the first click. Now the second click will be the second point. If I hold control, oh actually, if I hold control key, uh, it locks to the vertical and horizontal and, and increment. So I can draw 
row horizontally like this and click here. So I have created this line and still with my pencil tool active, I can actually click on this point and with control create the line like this, click here. So now I will switch away from the tool by selecting the selector tool. And if I click away, this is the lines, these lines that I created. Now I will again select those objects and I want to set up the thickness of the line. So I will go to the stroke style and here I will set up the width to 0 0.35 millimeters and click here. So you can see it's a little bit thicker. This is the, the, the thickness of the line that I want to be there. Now I want to also create this horizontal line which is part of the which is part of the symbol it moves with the symbol so i will again start the pencil tool and i can again uh, actually i don't want to have the object selected previously because then it would i would now be creating a line assigned to this object so I want to start a new object so I will deselect it and now start the uh, pencil tool and I want to snap to this end and to turn on snapping there's this icon here toggle snapping on off and now if I move my mouse here it snaps and it tells me it's handle to custom node well, it's basically the end, end point. So I will click here and again with control, I will wing it the length like this, which uh, is okay for me. Now I want to, I want to edit this point to make it longer. So I will move, I will start this node tool, edit paths by nodes and you can see that it changed the format of the nodes and now I will click this point uh, actually not click it click and drag it and hold if I hold control it will be horizontal so again holding control clicking and dragging and I will release it here I'm not really doing it geometrically perfect but I'm just winging it so it's uh, good uh, good enough what we'll also do, what is kind of good enough, is the arrow and we will use this tool, the start polygon tool and here I will set up, I want to create a polygon and I will change the number of corners to 3. And now if I click here and drag my mouse, I'm creating a rectangle, that's 3 corners and if I hold control again, it will be vertical. So I will maybe make it this big, like so. And exit the tool by going to the select tool. I've got the object selected. Maybe you don't have the correct fill or stroke. So uh, you can uh, again change the fill and stroke. I don't want to have the stroke. Uh, I just want to have the fill and I want to have the fill black. Now I will move the object and when you are creating symbols for, uh, for um, FreeCAD, make sure that you never drag the objects by these arrows because this, uh, this transforms the original object and this is what FreeCAD doesn't like. So you don't want to ever use this transform either by dragging it or either by ro rotating it. So make sure you don't, you don't do that. So now I want to drag it. So I will click and drag and it should snap to, it's snapping to the line midpoint up here. And I with control and rotating the wheel, I will zoom in and I will, by using up and down arrow, I can move the object. And if I hold the Alt Alt key, I'm moving it up and down by a smaller incre increment. So I can move it again. It's not precise, but it's kind of uh, precise enough for 
creating the symbol and I will click away so this is the arrow so this is the basic geometry created so now let's save the file and see how it behaves and how it looks in FreeCAD so I will go to file and uh, I will not use save but save as because I want to change the format of uh, save as instead of Inkscape SVG I want to use plain SVG because this doesn't save some Inkscape specific um, data into the SVG file it's just a plain SVG and this is uh, what's better suited for working with a FreeCAD so I will use the plain SVG and I will use it I will name it the elevation uh, mark elevation mark I will save it to my desktop and now let's switch back to FreeCAD and to load the symbol I can either go to tech draw tech draw views and insert SVG symbol or if I have got nothing selected I can also use the insert view tool and it defaults if I have nothing nothing selected to inserting the symbol it puts me in the templates uh, folder but actually I want to go I want to go to the desktop folder and it's the elevation mark symbol I will open it and it has inserted the symbol here if I hide the frames it actually looks as I want it to it looks nice but the first problem is if I show the uh, frames you can see that the symbol has frame this this big frame so this is not really practical because it will when I have more than one symbols there will be lots of these frames so how do we fix this we fix this by actually changing the the default size of the of the document which currently is set to this size and we want to limit it just to the geometry so I will go to again file and document properties and here in document properties I don't care about this format but I want to resize to content use this tool so I will click this button and you can see it has resized exactly to my geometry so now I can close the these properties and if I save uh, the project again and I have to use the save as again and change to plain SVG save replace the original one I will go to FreeCAD I will delete this symbol and load the new one I'll go to desktop elevation mark and now you can see that the frame of the symbol is nice tight around the uh, around the object so now let's see for the elevation height I want to have the height be editable I've got this property of the symbol in the data properties editable text but if I click here and write something it doesn't show up again uh, anywhere I need to set up the text in the SVG file so I will go back to Inkscape and I will select the text and now I need to edit this text in XML editor I could either do that in a text editor completely outside of Inkscape or we've got this tool here under the edit menu it's XML editor so I will select this one and I will change the size of it to see this is this is basically how the SVG file is formatted in, in text format so this is my SVG file and if I select the text you can see that it's selected also here so it's this object and what I want to do is add a new property to this text object so to add new property I will click this plus and the property name is must be free cat column 
editable. So uh, FreeCAD will know that it's editable inside. And for value, don't leave it empty. Uh, but you can write anything uh, anything you want there. Basically, I can write AA. It doesn't matter. What matters is the default text here. So um, this is the change that FreeCAD needs to know that this text object will be editable in the, as the symbol. So I will now again save the save the file as plain svg override the original one i will go to uh, freecad delete this symbol and load the new saved symbol so back in desktop elevation mark it's placed here and if i click it you can already see that in editable text there's this uh, text number. I could either change it here or I can click these three buttons and change it to 194.225, hit OK, and the text changes. If I uh, copy the symbol and paste it again on my page, so I've got two of these symbols uh, on the page, I can each one ha of course can have a different different uh, value so this is the editable text option now the last thing I will tell you is you can see here that uh, I've got the alignment of the text at the center uh, if you want to uh, if you want to have the alignment of the or justification of the text work with it it's recommended to have the prop in the properties of the text this uh, property xml space deleted and i actually have uh, quite a bad experience when i'm changing the alignment of the text so i recommend you when you are creating the text for the first time to set the desired uh, alignment here because then if I change it afterwards I had a bad time so this is the recommend recommendation when working with the text alignment so I have shown you how to create a custom symbol that you can use in your TechDraw workbench with editable text and with this technique you can create any symbol you like to use if you would like to explore or use the symbol that i have shown you here you can download it from my ko-fi shop for free it's part of this garage model in freecad bim and the link uh, is in the description box below I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.